Hi, my name is Victor and today I will show you how to add categories and subcategories in OpenCAT 4.0. So to start, I will show you how OpenCAT displays categories and as you can see on this uh, blue um, section, this is part of the header section in OpenCAT. It displays the parent categories. So like for this case, there's the desktop, which is a parent category. And then we have two subcategories. In this case, PC and Mac. So when you click on the subcategory, you land on a page which shows all products within that specific subcategory. And as you can see on the left side of this, I mean, this part that I'm hovering over, you are able to see different kind of categories like laptop and notebooks. And uh, over here, you can refine using the subcategories. So how do you add these items, these categories in OpenCAT 4.0? So to do that, you will need to log into your dashboard and then uh, under catalog, this catalog section, you will see a categories navigate, uh, navigation menu. So just click on that. Uh, once you click on that, you will land on this page, which will show the existing categories. And uh, you can see over here, we have three different uh, buttons. So the key thing here is to click on the add new button. So I'll click that. Now, once you've done that, you will land on this empty form where you are supposed to provide the details about that um, specific category. So category name is basically the name that you want customers to be able to see. So in this case, I'll just do something like furniture. Uh, description is uh, like some details about that, about this category. And this description is normally displayed over here. Okay, so I'll provide some information and just say this is about furnitures. And then the mega title, meta title, meta tag title, sorry, is, uh, is for the meta tag. So you can just provide the same name as the name for the category. Uh, you can leave these other parts empty. Um, the next part is to check under data. So under data, you can see there is uh, this parent part. So I want this category to be the parent, which means once I've, I've added it in OpenCAT, I should be able to see it on this navigation header. So I will leave parent as it is. And then uh, what else? So I will also have to switch on this button, like display in the top menu. And you can see this only works for top parent categories. And in our case, we've made this category to be parent category. Uh, the other thing you want to, uh, to take note is to ensure the status is enabled. And then, um, the, these other parts for now I will not uh, discuss, but regarding the category, that's pretty much that you need to do for you to be able to create a new category. And um, okay, seems like there's an error. So that one, let, let's check. Foreign, foreign, foreign. SEO. Ah, okay. So I'll just give some name here furniture so this is for seo once you switch on your seo you should be able to use this keyword in the url 
So I'll save it again. You can see you have modified categories and then I'll go back to the categories list and try to find it. Ideally, it should be around page two. Page two, yes. So you can see there's this furniture. Uh, when I switch to the customer side, just do a refresh. I'm able to see furniture as a category. And uh, so this is the title of the category. And this is the description about the category. Now, the next part is to show you how to create subcategories for this furniture category. So I'll switch back to the categories and then, um, I mean, switch back to the admin dashboard, uh, back to the category section and then click add new. So in this case, I'll create a subcategory called sofa and uh, say that this is a description about sofa. Uh, meta tag, I'll also set the, the title to sofa, which ideally should be something similar to the category name for discoverability. And then under data, I will now specify the parent as furniture. So should be that furniture. And then this button will remain as it is. So I won't enable it because this particular category that I'm creating is not, um, is not a parent category. And then I'll ensure the status is enabled and then move to SEO and say, like provide a keyword like sofa, and then save it. You can see it has been saved. Now, when I refresh on the customer side, I should be able to see a subcategory over here named sofa. Also, when I hover over the furniture, category, I will be able to see this subcategory. So that's pretty much about creating a new category and uh, a subcategory. So in the next video, I'll show you how to create products and assign uh, categories to those specific products. See you in the next video.